Right, so you've got these two sheets and you're looking at them and you're thinking, so what? Well, follow my instructions and I guarantee you'll buy better. Uh, and if you watch this video to the end, you'll see how two simple steps um, plus um, how I'm going to tell you to use these sheets, it will equate to you buying about 50% more property for sure. So first print them out, uh, enough copies for the, uh, for the week. Stick them on a clipboard. Grab a pen and also have some empty sheets underneath, some blank sheets underneath as well. Um, don't use a pad, don't use a book. They need to be in on this clipboard. Um, also, don't create a spreadsheet uh, or try do this on an iPad or um, yeah, whatever. So get, get something that auto calculates. I guarantee you will spend more time figuring out the IT and having flat batteries than any time you would ever save. And also, sometimes you just need to be able to write something in, in, in a, on a viewing. So, do have a smartphone. It's your secret weapon. Uh, also have a computer at home with um, everything all sort of linked up. Microsoft and Google, they're pretty good at this, you know. Pick one of, the, one of them and have it so that if you take a picture or you send an email, you've got it on your phone, you've got it on a, on a laptop at home or a computer at home, and have it, yeah, like I say, have it all working. It will, it, it will definitely sell, sell, take, take, um, save you a lot of time. Um, also have some storage somewhere and backed up storage. Uh, I used to use Dropbox. We've got a server in the office now, but we, we, uh, we used to use Dropbox. That seems to work quite well. So when you take a picture on your phone, it's on your phone. It's probably saved in the iCloud somewhere. You can get it on a, on a computer as well, but it's also backed up. Book your appointment on your phone, on your um, computer. Put in this order, time, address, postcode, name, and the phone number of the person you're meeting. So, um, 1400, 123 Acacia Avenue, AB1, 2BC, meeting Joe Smith, phone number that. Why do you do that? It will auto remind you where to go. If the, why do you put the, the time? How many times, because you're busy and you're mucking around, do you put the, t the appointment in for the wrong time? So you see you've got an appointment at 1500, but it says 1400. You've just put it in the wrong slot. It's really 1400. That, that helps. Because you, you, a lot of this thing is to get things working in the, right, in the right way when you're busy, you know, so you don't forget stuff. Why do you have the address in there, including the postcode? You can press that and off you drive on your sat-nav because you're busy, because you've got one, two, three, four viewings in a row. Why do you have the person you're meeting with there? Hello, Joe Smith, Joe Smith, Joe Bloggs, whatever. Um, you know their name, you remember the name. If you can't make it, you can call them from the phone because you've got their mobile phone. So that's what the, the, the appointment uh, uh, um, is, is written down on, in your calendar. Arrive at the viewing. Be nice, go speak to the agent. And that's really important. There gets to be a point where you just need to stop talking and concentrate. So make a point of being nice. If somebody's trying to follow you around, you, that will put you off. Don't, don't have that. We, we make purposeful effort not to be distracted on a viewing. But it does mean that you need to make the effort to go and be nice to start off with. On this here, fill in every single box. Not most of the boxes, every single box. If it's not applicable, put not applicable. It means that you didn't forget. Check it's legible. Check you can actually read your writing. You're gonna take quite a bit of time and effort to you know, be slow and, and go through these things. Take more photos than you possibly think you could need. Take them with your phone. The first photograph you take is at the front door, so. Front door, take a picture. Why do you do that? Because when you get home and you've got a thousand photographs on your camera roll, each front door punctuates a viewing. So you'll be able to find everything between that front door and the next one, that was that viewing. Fill in the box. Let's go through some of the boxes. Name, street number, area, postcode, asking price, what type of property it was, current bedrooms. Take all these photographs, street view, front elevation, rear elevation, side elevation, Boiler, tank, as in the heating. 
electricity board, electricity meter, gas meter, two angles of each room at least. If you tick every single one of these boxes, it will mean you haven't forgot anything. In a 10, 15 minute viewing, that might be all you've got. You might forget one or two things and it might be the critical thing that stops you working out your offer. Make sure that before you leave, you've ticked every single one of these boxes. Done. There's a few little bits of notes here on how to, you know, on, on what, what you need to, you know, you can make extra notes. You're never gonna fit it all in there. That's what I'm saying. Next sheet is the little crossy diagram plan plan thing with all the, the the graph paper sometimes the pad i take has got graph paper on it as well and you've got a key here all the way down the side that's to remind you what to write at where it's a dead easy way you can either, you can also draw a picture or a plan and you can draw you know if this is a you know, where the uh, the fuse box is you can draw a line from fuse box and go it's there it's a quick and easy way of doing uh, the viewings you can make extra separate notes on the piece of paper. Do that, no problem at all. Clipboard, without a clipboard, you'll be leaning on the wrong thing. You just need to be able to write on a clipboard and get it, get it, get it down and get it down quick. Go away from the building, go and calculate your offer. Write your maximum bid price in the box top right. So we've got here, uh, we work out our end valuation. We want a 20% margin, so we times it by 0.8, and we write our offer here. So I will offer you 50,000 pounds, and I circle it. Bang, it's there. So I know that whenever I'm offering on this property, I can offer up to that price. Pick it up, quick, easy, there, 50 grand. That's what I can offer. Scan all these documents in. We like, so have a scanner at home. We like um, scannable. Uh, there's other other um, apps, but Scannable is the one we use. Go to the App Store, get Scannable, click, click, click. I'm sure there's loads of other versions, but that will take a picture, a scan, and then make it all look pretty and you know to get rid of all creases and make sure it's all whited out, get rid of shadows and those kind of things. And then you'll save that copy on your server. Keep the paper copy in a file, probably in your car or bag somewhere where you've always got it. And You'll feel, you'll feel great. You'll be organized, you'll have all the information you need. Um, you'll be able to sit at home or in your car, pull up anywhere. If you've got it all working out, um, you know, so things are all saved in the right places. Um, you, you, you can probably see on your phone all the stuff, the information that's saved on the server and you'll feel organized. You'll feel good. You might even be a better buyer, but right now you will not be buying 50% more houses. You've just organized things. It's very, very important you do that. To buy 50% more houses, you simply need to do this. Take out your folder of all these fo files once a week. Call through the estate agents once a week and go through each property you've viewed with that estate agent and ask them, is the sale still progressing? Is the vendor happy with the speed? Or maybe the current buyers chip the price and the vendor's unhappy. Maybe the current buyer's pulled out or gone AWOL. Is the property going back on the market? Can we buy it? Would they accept our previous offer? Maybe we could go at 500 pounds, yes. If you do that, I guarantee you will buy more property. 50% of the properties that we buy, we buy by doing this. Essentially, we don't buy them the first time. They get filed away, sat there, and then we go through that process every single week. It keeps you front of mind and you will definitely, definitely pick up properties this way. Try it, you'll see. Now, if you're of the suspicious type, um, you'll be thinking, why is he telling me this? You're right to be suspicious. I have two ulterior motives. 90% of you will not do this. Uh, you're either too busy to buy a property or you don't have the skills. You know, how do you calculate that offer? I didn't tell you how to do that. It'd take me days to tell you how to calculate the offer. Um, the 10% of people who do do this will find it's really hard work because it is. Um, so if you're in the 90% or the 10%, you'll most likely conclude that you need some help 
Um, I own, a, own and run a business that can help you. Uh, we run weekly discovery days. Uh, you can come to our office, see exactly how we do this, how we do this in, in, in uh, ourselves for our clients and for ourselves. Uh, exactly how we can help you build your property empire. What we do works, I know that. The average UK landlord owns under two properties, one, one and a bit property, 1.2, 1.5 properties, it changes, but never more than two properties. The average for the landlord's landlord owns seven or eight properties. What we do works. So that's my primary aim, um, my, my first ulterior motive, to meet you someday, you know, come and, come and uh, book a discovery day. Second ulterior motive is if you aren't quite ready to come and meet us yet, um, I'm gonna have the team here send you regular updates showing you what we're up to, how we invest in buy to let property all day, every day for ourselves and for clients, exactly how we're doing it, warts and all, uh, all the details, all the numbers. Uh, why would you show you all this? Why would we give away all our secrets? See points one and two above. Book on to our next discovery day. Um, we'd love to meet you. Bye for now.